So it's Magic Weekend this weekend with over 60,000 people heading up to Newcastle for Rugby League's big showpiece. Hull FC and Hull Kingston Rovers doing battle in Super League. So when it be Magic Weekend, KCOM Sports has brought together members of the Robins and the Black and Whites to see if they can do magic for real. Let's have a look. Not there, Ab? Wait. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, if you just place those cards back inside there, so well. See, some people think the coin is in the left elbow. So the coin is actually in the right elbow, but that's not the trick. The trick is where does that come from? That's the bit. <laughs> so the lads have been busy practicing the tricks and we've brought two guest stars down to see how they're getting on. From Hull Kingston Rovers, we've got Kevin Leroyer, and from Hull FC, we've got Fekka Paliasina. <laughs> how, do you, how do you think he's done that? I don't know. Magic. Magic. Look at Yeah, mate. Uh, just down here with some of the boys, just um, learning some new tricks. Uh, magic tricks are pretty funny, you know. A couple of them actually blew my legs away. But uh, I like the one what Tag did, what, what Scott Taylor did. He's a really good one, which were quite impressive. And, like I say, it's been good fun and we've learnt one or two things and we'll probably be able to uh, con a few drinks out of a few folk with it. What happens, every person you always trick to, they always say the same card no matter what. It's weird, but they do. You want to say the ace of spades? Yeah, the other one was in there. <laughs> <laughs> Green, blue, black, red, white. And we've got the same matching, matching chips. Right, go for it. Spin them over one at a time and then see where we're at. I think I've got that right. I'm pretty sure I've got that right. Fan yeah. So that's obviously the eight of clubs in it, what yeah. you've picked. So we'll keep it there for now, yeah? <laughs> nah, you haven't done it. <laughs> uh, it went good. Uh, my trick was um, a card one which he showed me. Um, it was really surprising actually, I, then he, went, he did it on me first and showed me obviously how you do it and obviously you, then, then it all makes sense but when you actually get it done to you, you just don't have a clue so it's really good. Back in Thursday I'll take him in with me and um, probably do it on Rad's, <laughs> go for the simple man's first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah when he moved those last two chips over I thought oh god he's got it wrong. <laughs> I, was as nervous, I was probably more nervous than he was and I generally thought he's got it wrong. I did really, really yeah, well. Yeah, very well. Really well. Um, how was your two? Well, they had such a small space of time to yeah. master everything, and yet they did it bang on, and the performance was great. Um, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I think, I think we better watch out for our jobs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost as though I've covered the entire table uh, table in super glue, you find that hand's completely glued to the table now, and you find you can't lift it. And the more you try, the more it just sticks itself down tighter and tighter until you find you can't lift it at all, can you? Try it, you find you've got to lift. See how hard that is to lift? You can't lift that up now, can you? Now if you watch my hand, everything in my hand does your hand will do, like a puppet. Watch my hand as the little finger starts to go. Yeah, that's a good, good, good. That's twitch, that's good. Very good, very good. And same with the middle finger now, that's one move. You'll find your middle finger will go too. That's it. Yes. I know this feels very weird, doesn't it? Now in a minute my hand's going to raise and you'll find your hand will do exactly the same, like it's on a cushion of air. One, two, three, now. Oh, it's okay. That's it. It's going all the way. You're doing really, really well. Just higher and higher. Just higher and higher. Just let it go. Don't fight it as it goes all the way. That's it. You're doing really, really well. That's it. It just goes higher and higher. I don't know. It almost feels like it's not your hand, does it? It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's been good fun, yeah, we've, um, we've learned a few things and uh, I've probably took one or two things away where I can go and play some games on my friends like so. It's been good, we've enjoyed it and I think if, as long as you've got a bit of a knack of chatting away and all that kind of stuff, it helps a little bit. Yeah, so. Obviously I started at KR, um, whether I was an FC fan or not, I had to do my job properly and I, I give it 100% every time I took the field of old KR but um, this is my first year as an FC fan playing the old derby as an FC player which I've always wanted to do and the form, form goes out the window we just need to worry about ourselves and, and rip in and I can't wait it's going to be a great occasion. It's just a big occasion you know I, I feel like um, 
an adopted Hull lad, if you like. You know, I've been here. This is my ninth full season with Hull KR. So, as you know, whenever we play Hull FC, there's always a bit of abuse coming my way. And if I get a chance to give some back, I'll give it back. And that's just how it is. Yeah, sure. I'm, um, you know, my first one. So, you know, just gonna enjoy it and. Uh, you know, take it all in. Um, the boys are telling me that the atmosphere is great, you know, especially the last game of the day uh, for the weekend, so yeah. And, and once you step over the white line, whether your friends are, whether you've got on or what, it just changes, particularly in a derby. And you just want to bash the living daylights out of each other. And that's just how it is. And it doesn't mean, you know, you come away from the game and you still hate each other. But I think it's just for that 80 minutes, when you're playing in a big derby like a whole derby, you've got to really have that aggression. And, Can you sign a round of applause, alright?